Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So do you want to unlock the full potential of your QMK compatible keyboard? Or do you want to make a key map for your handwired mechanical keyboards? So what are we waiting for? Let's get tinkering. The QMK firmware is a very broad firmware. It has branched out into different repositories and is still growing as of now. If you think that you have known enough just because you know how to use the QMK configurator, well think again, you're just scratching the surface. But I'm here to help you out. So what are we waiting for? Let's check it out. So first we go to the website. So docs that qmk that fm then we click the setup so you need to download the softwares so i suggest you download notepad plus plus to edit the key maps the qmk toolbox you will also see the latest release here and we will prepare the environment so we're gonna need to install the msys2 so click in here we have to download the installer just a minute and then we're gonna install it okay so we have just finished downloading it now we will install it so we have finished downloading the installer so we run it click next then enter the installation folder so you have to take note of this then run msys2 now after you have finished installing so after you've run it you're gonna type pacman hyphen sy you then after that you will need to close the msys2 then run it again so after that you will type pacman hyphen su then after that installation you will type pacman hyphen s git okay so i will demonstrate it to you now so we will type pacman pacman space s y u So it will download the needed files then pacman s u So we close this and then open it again Pacman S U. Okay, so no update needed. So we will type Pacman S Git. Then click Yes.
okay so it has finished installing now we get back to the QMK docs so it says that we need to type this so let's copy to clipboard and paste so just Y wait for it to finish downloading and installing and we'll proceed to the next step so we have finished installing but there is a problem so the python 3 slash m pip install qmk so i have a solution for that So Pacman SY Python 3. So click yes or Y. Then it's installing. Wait for it to install and we're ready to do the next step. So we've finished installing. Now let's check out the next step. Man, sy python 3 hyphen pyp so just yes wait for it to install download Okay, then we will type python 3 hyphen m pip install qmk So it's downloading. So now we type QMK setup. Then click yes or Y. So it will clone the QMK firmware to the path of the MCs. So 
you will have to wait for a while and you have to take note of this the path of the QMK firmware so later we will use this QMK firmware so after a while there will be a question that will appear so just type yes or why so would you like to install dependencies so just type why because you need to install all of that So now it's downloading all the needed packages so you'll just have to wait so after a while there will be a prompt that will ask if what drivers will you install just type A to install all drivers so there will be a new window that will open then after the new window have opened it will install the drivers so just wait for it to install then we'll proceed to the next step okay so it's finished installing now it says restart MCS2 so we have to close it then open it again so let's try it out let's type if you remember the path of your QMK firmware just type CD then QMK underscore firmware okay now we test it out so make clean DC 60 colon then default or the default key map so just wait for it and it will have a message at the end if it's finished compiling
So you have successfully compiled the first QMK firmware. So this means that you have successfully installed your QMK firmware in your computer. So stay tuned in my channel for more videos about QMK.